<laughs> All right, we're in the losers' finals. I'm joined by the wonderful twofold here. Hello, hello. So, as the recent newcomer, how do you feel about the Nebraska poke and meta here? I feel like I can free all of you up if the right day comes around. <laughs> Absolutely, I also. <laughs> Yeah, I know you would free me up. I've just, I've just avoided you in bracket both times. I'm just extremely lucky. I'm having a good time though. That's good. So, who versus Sky Raisin? I'm assuming they're both gonna stick to the regular characters. I, Sky Raisin has not played a different character all day, and I think he's just been getting the, the Machamp call. You know, ringing him up on the phone, telling him that, hey, you need to play me. I'm a bad character, but you definitely still need to play me. Champs top five discourse a few years back. Oh yeah, that, that 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 was a fun time, you know. Bless the Pokemon community for having bad opinions. <laughs> like not putting Garchomp in bottom three. Anyway. <laughs> see this match. I'm excited, honestly. Yeah. Rotom is actually an interesting pick against Skyrise in particular, because he's a very jumpy player. He definitely is. Mm -hmm. Essentially, he's been incorporating a lot of wake-up slap into his gameplay, because he likes to use it as a spacing tool against, like, reckless approaches, and I think it's really interesting. Absolutely. He me with it a few times. So. Mm -hmm. It's just, like, you don't expect, because, like, not a lot of other champs do it. He just uses, he loves using his air options. He is all over it. You can see him jumping already. Yep. <laughs> His Machamp does, in fact, have the strongest calves of all other Machamps, because he just leaping. Anyway, so a lot of back and forth going on. Not any big conversions either way. A lot of pokes, a lot of actual, like, neutral going on, which is disgusting. Come on, guys. We got two Gorilla characters. This is not supposed to be here. Press the A button, you fools. It's funny. So, I don't know if you know this about Skyrim, but this man plays like a machine. I have... <laughs> Like, he has so many setups and, like, just autopilot, like, just setups into stuff like that. Like, he just always presses the exact same buttons the exact same way, like, in, cer in certain knockdowns and stuff like that. He plays, like, an... He has, like, so many flow charts for so many things. I used to make fun of him all the time for it. It's great. That's a, that's a goal, honestly. Yeah. I'm a big uh, fan of the flow charts, though. Mm -hmm. Very good. Well, oh. very bad burst here. Yeah. Good capitalized, like, so much. Mm hmm Champ burst sucks. It kind of do. Ooh, I need a commander person. It's just been very solid token out of these two, honestly. Mm -hmm. A lot of neutral, no big whiffs. Yeah. I'd say is whiffs, I hope. Yeah. Skyrim so. is, he's just super patient, and Fumu plays super bait and punish. So it's a matchup where, like, you think these characters just, like, someone's getting bullied 99% of the time, but just the play styles of these two, like, doesn't. Doesn't quite work like that. Then again, 20 seconds in, and Fumu's out got like a third of his health. So, you know. Yeah, it was a big opening catch with the 6x. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, he just ignored. He, he just said, I'll just take the Rotom. That was quite the trade. I haven't seen anything quite like that before. Yeah. Classic Mm hmm. He just did it. He just pulled the trigger. I understand. Honestly, you just have to sometimes. Mm -hmm. You just gotta check, like, hey, you paying attention to me? No? Hi, how are you? I'm over here now. That should have been a punish from real quickly. That's punishable on block. Yep. Well, they're both just looking for something from the other. Because like, if a champ just plays reaction into blade skin, he can really just punch a lot of stuff with things like counter or just like that. Or like yep, yeah, like release X, which he was holding apparently. Big capitalized here by Skyrays and mm -hmm. very very much optimized. PSP mm -hmm. in the corner. Yep, now the super big uh, jump out of the corner there for Fumu. Uh, see, that's the thing about Fumu is he doesn't always capitalize on all situations though. Like he got scared of that heavy slam and backdashed again, and now he's just lost his offensive pressure. But that is uh, big boy damage. Mm -hmm. Yep, big snack. Yep, frog gear for the pressure. Yeah, come into my arms. Speaking of risky approaches. Yep. That's. I don't think that's gonna kill. Mm hmm Rock. 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 The lingering hip rock. on those rocks are 
it, it, it's really annoying because like as like Garchomp, I like to run around for that guys a lot because I like, use his speed. So like you just get hit by something invisible and it's like, ah, cool. Yeah, the rock projectiles, like the crumpled pieces sitting on the ground, mm -hmm. those still have hitboxes. Yeah, they've disappeared. They're still there for just a little bit longer. They will absolutely catch you if you're not aware. It's mm -hmm. very much something to watch out for. Fumu was respecting it a lot. Yep. Yep. I think Fumu's rust is definitely showing. Yeah. It's just Sky Reason just he he's probably the hardest working player in, in Nebraska. He like he, he has so much knowledge under his belt and so many interactions he just knows. Yeah. And it, it, it really helps against um maybe someone with a bit like still who still knows what they're doing but definitely has a little bit more rust and doesn't isn't completely familiar with all the situations. Is able to capitalize better on the scramble. Yeah, that's a good way to put it, yeah. Seems to be a lot more aggressive here. So. Yeah, so he's definitely switching it up a bit. I do say, so far it looks like it appears to be working out for him, so they are mm -hmm. trying. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Alright, yeah, he got burst, and he had a pretty nice advantage, but. Oh, that's a bit unfortunate. Because that's going to be a first punish. Not going to kill, but it's going to be really close, actually. It will put Skyrim in a rage. Mm -hmm. So, the see, this is, this is the foolish part, because he actually put Skyrim in ahead in the game now. He's now in rage. 3 HP. Oh my goodness. That is what I'm talking about. Skyrim needs one more good hit. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> I have tried. Dan, I have tried for four years. <laughs> Alright. So, boom, the heavy slam, it's such a terrible move, but Skyrim makes it look good. It's annoying. I <laughs> honestly think it's a bit underrated. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like,. You just don't see a lot of other chance using, but it has a lot of utility and like just and the fact that's not used very much make, makes it a good option. It's definitely something to be aware of, and a lot of players like Fumu definitely aren't. Yeah. I'm not ready for it. I'm not sure how to deal with it. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's the butt. <clears throat> oh wow, that actually caught. Mm, yeah, I know exactly that feeling. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Fumu is. Just Really get a hard, have a hard time getting an advantage. This guy isn't definitely playing a lot more aggressive. You see, there's that way swap I was like talking about. He just uses that. That was quite the hitbox. Quite. Thank you, Machamp. Oh my goodness. Yep. Yeah, I think I, I think Skyrim has now established how much confidence he can have here. I think he's really shown like I think he's like realizing how much he can he can do and be aggressive and. Oh, change to a different character. Play Garchomp, it'll definitely work. It's a weird Garchomp, but okay. It's weird. Garchomp with the hoodie. Oh yeah, I, I just I, I can see it. I can see the similarities. He's got the he's got the like the beak like thing too. He's yeah. still. It's all there. It's, it's all there. Mhm. Mm he's got the like wings on his arms. The, yep, wings. That there. We, that's two things. That's basically confirmation. The like. Like he has legs. Like the, uh, he the has. Le <laughs> yeah, he does have legs. That's crazy. He got claws. Oh snap! Yep, that's basically the same character. Same character. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is probably going to be a bit more of a um, better matchup, but I don't think Fumu has played Sigui in a good while. So this will be interesting. I can't say I knew Fumu Sigui, so I'm definitely. It interested yeah, he played it a lot when DX Draw, which can tell you a lot by how long it's been. Oh, um, <laughs> oh I feel old. <laughs> that was a <laughs> while ago. <laughs> but he's always had the Sigurai as a counter pick, but like, he hasn't played too much recently, and especially now he's playing Blaziken, playing Blaze, I think, the whole day, so. A nice conversion. He's definitely able to play a lot more patient in the, yeah, the he, way he's, he, he's been, he wanted to play with Blaziken, but yeah. Blaziken just didn't have quite the toolkit against him. Yeah, yeah. like here you can actually get advantage from being a good distance away and like really punishing a bad approach. Okay, so he's going to be able to play around that. Yep, good option there. 
Busted counter is busted. I remember, remember everyone complaining about Decidueye being stupidly broken? What happened to that? He, he still is just very low key. It's just age slash exists now. He's worse. Hey, hey, that's true. It's like yep. Fumu is definitely... I feel like Fumu's definitely got some runner. Yeah, definitely. Like, he didn't react to the, the 6x coming in. Also, time is a thing. Yeah, he's able to hold block for a while. I love Sky Racing's, like, ability to decide to go for time. Because, like, the win is the win, is the thing. And it's it's completely a win condition. Oh, absolutely. And if you make your opponent scared to approach you, um, like, it, like, that... Machamp can just do that, and like he doesn't need to get the win. He doesn't need to take any unnecessary risk if he doesn't need to. All right. Sky mm -hmm. Forcing the burst out early, honestly. Sky, Skyzen though has like almost all the tools he needs to be able to deal with it though. Wow, that was. Yeah, I think that's just showing like Skyzen is completely into his head a little bit. Yeah, that was a very, very bold uh, mm -hmm. jump, but it certainly worked out. Mm -hmm. Hopefully Fumo right. can get a little uh, momentum off of this. Mm -hmm. Still have a lot of work to go through. Like, that's still two-thirds of Champ's health. And he can just, see, he's just playing super patient. Like, he knows he doesn't need to approach. It, the incentive is on Fumo right now. Karate chopping everything that can be karate chopping it. Mm -hmm. Just smack that arrow away. Don't want to deal with it. He still has burst and everything completely on lockdown. Ooh, oh wow, that nice. Okay, good good conversion there. A lot of damage. Basically he has no more incentive. He can just walk away, pop frog, pop burst, and just chill. Or he can just do that, but it doesn't doesn't look like it's gonna matter. Yeah. Alright, that was a good game. We got that is lose the idols and we're gonna be going to grands here. Alright. Here we go. I'm <laughs> you took a set, just do it again. Oh, you're right, you're right. It's easy. Yeah.